So when it comes to planning out of state trips or just hunting trips or hunting properties, you're always trying to find the tactics or the edge that's going to help you have more success. Okay. Maybe if you're going to a place, you're looking at topo maps, trying to find bedding areas. I mean, let's, let's face it, the list goes on and on all these different tactics. Um, maybe you're a bed hunter, you're hunting the bedding areas, you're hunting specific buck beds. There's one tactic that I hear semi often that I'm not a fan of. Okay. Public land, private land. It's not something that I've found success in. I think it could be done um, in the right application. And maybe I'll talk about that a little bit. But I truly believe that hunting over oaks or acorns is very overrated. In fact, I think it's one of the most overrated um, strategies or tactics, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who have definitely killed bucks off of oaks, but it's just, it's so sporadic is, is, is the main reason that I don't like to do it. So here's the, the thing that I look at the most. So if I'm going to a property, I'll ask that property owner. And I ask every single property owner, and if you've worked with me, you know this already. What's the most desirable tree if you had to guess? There's no right or wrong answer. What's the most desirable tree for, um, for whitetails? And 99% of those guys are gonna say oaks. And I said, okay, yeah. Um, definitely a, a food source that's attractive. I guess the issue with it, I always ask them is, okay, but what, what kind of timber does your neighbor most likely have? Oaks. Um, on years when, when those oaks are dropping a lot of acorns, which oak do you hunt? The problem is it's just so sporadic and there's oaks everywhere dropping acorns, whether it's red, white, pin oak, black oak, all these different oaks. If they're everywhere, how do you create a pattern? Um, I think it could be possible if you had done enough scouting and knew where strategic uh, beds were and maybe things like that and maybe had a cell cam in the bed. Okay, he's here. Hopefully he comes out to this oak flat tonight before transitioning to a crop field. I think it can be part of the equation, but to go in and, and only focus on hunting oaks um, I don't think it's it's necessarily the most successful tactic that you could use. And quite frankly, I think it's one of the, the, the least successful ones that I've had in my arsenal. There's other ones that I've used that work a lot better. Um, so as we're out here right now, actually, on a hunting trip, we're out here doing some scouting boots on the ground. Uh, there's other things that I'm looking for. We're seeing oaks everywhere. We're walking the trails. We're seeing acorns. Um, so there's food everywhere. But like I said, that, that movement and it is going to be super sporadic because the food's everywhere. There's no rhyme or reason as to where they're going to be. So when I'm when I have boots on the ground, there's other things I'm looking for, whether it's fresh rubs, um, scrapes, which eventually lead me back to beds or bedding areas, all those different things. At the end of the day, um, there are there's in that hierarchy of, of, of main scouting tactics, I would probably put hunting over acorns or scouting over acorns towards the bottom.